Hello and welcome to Melbourne Arena. NBL Grand Final Game 4. Seb Costello with you alongside NBL and basketball great Shane Heal. And Shane, key stats from Game 3 the other night and it's all about Tariqo White. They would contribute but more in the assist column than anything else. And Melbourne United just haven't found a way to get it done from the three-point line. Four from 27. No doubt about that. If it was handed over today, he certainly gets it. Melbourne Let's have a little starting fire. Starting with Perth. And then we'll tell you whether Melbourne has made a change to theirs with Chris Golding. But here's the first starting five. Well, no need to change anything for the Wildcats. This is the group that's been getting it done. I thought they got great contributions off their bench the other night as well. For Melbourne United, the most valuable player for them in this grand final series has been DJ Kennedy. He's got twice the assist of Casper Ware and half the turnovers. He is going to have to bring it today, get rebounds and push it in transition. Well, bring it here in Melbourne to be able to replicate that same sort of atmosphere. That's how they wanted to draw it up, but the finish wasn't there. Kennedy takes it down the floor at one stage, and here he is. He has risen to the occasion. We just stepped up, do I know, in the semi final. Two point game, 28 24, away from home, against all odds. One import down, and they've done it in emphatic style, 97 to 84.